Hello and welcome to this short video where we'll show you how you set up a XML feed and how you generate it from your Shopify store. So I do have a Shopify store set up right now and I actually want to create a XML feed to this store. So first of all, I want to go to the search bar and type XML feed. And as you can see, there's no results found because I have not installed an app yet. So we want to search for XML feed in Shopify app store. And from in here, we actually have a lot of different options that we can choose from. I have already tried out some of them, but if you want to have as many products inside your XML feed as possible for free, then I will actually just go with the most popular here called Mulvey shopping feeds, because that have a free subscription where you can add up to 100 products inside your XML feed because if we compare it to something like this Scroot or whatever it's called then we actually only get 10 products for free and then we have to pay for it so I want to go and install this Mulvey shopping you can go and explore all the other solutions also but I think this is the best one and it's actually also one of the most popular one five stars with a lot of ratings so let's go and take that one and what we want to do is just to add the app to our Shopify store so just go and install it and then we want to say install app so you will be redirected to their own page and as you can see here in the background it actually just finished up the indexing of the products that I have on my site so now I just submitted the form with the name and the email and I think the first thing we will have to do is to if you go and see this your trial ends in seven days subscribe now and continue to trial so let's go and click on the subscribe now and let's go and just choose the free package so that's just to make sure that we don't get billed when the trial expires but let's try to go back to the feeds and say that we want to add a feed and because we have a free subscription we can actually only go and take the templates for for example google shopping or facebook you cannot go and create a custom feed when you're on the free plan so in my case i think we could just go with the facebook the most important thing is who are you gonna share this with in my case i'm actually going to use it to some affiliate partners and i think if they just want to use my xml feed then it really doesn't matter if i use facebook or or anything else because no matter how it looks they have to fit the xml file that i sent them so when we're in here everything is actually already set up so we can just go and say save actually before i say save you can see here i have a estimated number of products is six and that's because i actually have six active products inside my shop so let's go and say save and now the xml feed is actually created for us i think maybe if you go and change the number of products on your shopify store then you can go and say generate again here so you say generate now and then the actual link to the xml feed is down here so you can go and copy this and we can go and paste it in and you can see this is actually a file that is downloading so it's not actually shown in the browser and if i open this uh, you can see i actually have wordpad to open this file you might want a text editor to actually open the files but as we can see now it's actually created so for example we have the id tag here where we have the id of the product we also have the title so we do have the title of the product and so on so it's actually just this link that you want to give to whoever should need your xml feed i actually also want to show you another solution which is the scrout or scrouts i actually don't know how it pronounced so again go and say xml feed and say that we want to use the Shopify app store and I actually want to show you this one in the free plan you can only go and add 10 products but it is a little bit easier to work with because if we go and install it and we say install the app and as you can see everything is actually inside Shopify so you don't have to use an external page to create the XML feed but what I want to do is go and say update now but the way you use it is if you have some products it will already have fetched them and actually create the XML feed in my case as you can see it's skipped products it skipped five products and it's actually because I miss a product type on the product but if you have that then it should be inside your XML feed that is created here so you can just go and copy the link and as we did before just paste it in and in this case you actually see the whole XML feed up here so the products should be in here if you have them set up correctly so I hope this video helped you to make your XML feed and else just have a nice day bye